Uh, I remember when the trailers came out for Lost City. I thought it looked funny. Cause it was like, you know, it, I said, this looks like a funnier version of romance. This is like an action comedy romancing the stone. You know, Sandra Bullock's an author. And, you know, she's got these adventure stories. And, of course, Channing Tatum is like the model who is like the guy in the... He, he's basically the the model for the book. And he's, he comes out with the wake book and all, you know, doing that weird facial expression, you know, like Zoolander. Uh, I'm going to stop doing that now. Uh, that was really fun. Their, their back and forth was so funny in this movie. Um, I remember when Brad Pills in the trailer. I was like, okay, how much of it is going to be in this movie? And then all of a sudden, it's like near the beginning when they're rescuing her. And I was like, okay, he clearly dies. Sorry, I thought I heard something fall. But anyway, it's like, and then apparently he didn't die. At the, well, I still think he died. But then he showed up at like a credit scene. Or not, it wasn't even a credit scene. It was like, during, well, mid-credits. I don't know. Whatever it was. He's actually there. And I was like... I was like, that's confusing, uh, but still funny. Uh, of course, we knew they would hook up in the end, Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum's character. Because, you know, obviously he went to rescue her and he was there all the time. Um, but it was funny, the fact that, you know, Daniel Radcliffe, I was like, of course he's playing an eccentric billionaire. I mean, what kind of villain is he going to be? A rich guy, obviously. Um, sorry if I'm like, my eyes are closed. I'm like a little tired. Um, even though I, I went to bed at a pretty good time. Uh, yeah, I mean, overall, their back and forth was hilarious. Um, the Lost City looked, the actual Lost City looked beautiful. Um, a lot of the stunts in this stuff was fun. I <laughs> get Brad Pitt with the long hair just waving around. You know, how do you look so, like, how do you look so young? Or whatever the thing she asked, he's like, my father was a weatherman. And I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. But, uh, and then Shane, the fun, one of the funniest scenes when he's got all those leeches around him, he just takes his pants out from him, she's like, whoa, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, listen, we, I'm pretty sure me and others would probably have that same thing where it's like, there are leeches on us and you're like, oh my gosh, how many do I actually have? But, um, but yeah, but I thought it was really, it was such a funny movie and it, it was good. And I think it was, a, I think it made money. It was success. It was a success because it didn't cost a lot. Well, I'm, I gotta look up how much money it made, but I think it made enough to where it's like, okay, cool. Success. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean. I'm kind of up and down with Channing Tatum movies. Sandra Bullock's been in a lot of good ones. Uh, but Channing Tatum, because, I mean, he was away for a while, and he, and this was, like, it was this movie, and then he had Dog come out in the same year. Of course, that one he co-directed. So it's really cool to kind of see him, like, getting back into the groove of things, and, like, now he's starting to direct and do stuff. And then Sandra Bullock's pretty much great in everything. You know, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, I had, oh, so much fun with this movie. I mean, we need more funny action comedies like this, especially if they're like an adventure film. And this one, yeah, very much was like romancing the stone for like this, this movie industry. So, uh, so again, I'm going to stop blabbing around. I pretty much give you my thoughts and everything. And, and yeah, I mean, Daniel Radcliffe, good. Everyone else, great. Um, but yeah, hopefully get more movies like this eventually. Who knows? See you next time.